Hi there, it's Mark Sebastian, founder of Option Pit, and this is the Vol Report reminder. This is for education purpose only. Shouldn't be considered investment advice. Options have risk. Well, hey, everybody, look where we are again. Mark it up, Vol down, Dow leading again. So, this is the second day in a row where we've got a flip in the conversation, right? Yes, uh, up until yesterday, the leaders were the IWM and the NASDAQ. Today, the leaders are the, the NDX is barely up. The S&P is up a quarter of a percent. Um, IWM's less up about a tenth of a percent. And Dow is up about a half of a percent. So the Dow is leading again. Um, I don't trust these Dow leadership days, but that is currently the case. And you can see, you know, the Dow is, is charging higher. Um, you know, it's it's up uh, up nicely and... Uh, it continues to lead. What's what's moving within Dow? Well, uh, Caterpillar was up uh, uh, nicely earlier. It's currently not. Um, but you know, Caterpillar is uh, is a little strong. De Deer is a little strong. But take a look at the banks. You can see Goldman, Flatish, uh, J.P. Morgan's up nicely. That looks strong today. It was real strong yesterday. Um, we continue to see some strength out of like Microsoft, which is now above 102. And, you know, some of the more boring names are, are really the leaders. Mike, you know, um, Microsoft, uh, you know, IBM, even GE doesn't look terrible. See, it's a GE's up a whopping 10 cents. Back above 14, so that seems to have found the floor. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we had that's a good point. We had great earnings out of Pepsi with their notably Frito Lay. People like those stacks, but um, you're getting some, uh, some that's helping out Coca Cola a little bit, which is uh, a part of the Dow. And, uh, you know, they like uh, they continue to like Boeing and. You know, Boeing is a huge driver in the Dow, so they continue like Boeing, and if uh, and and if Boeing's going to be strong, the Dow is going to be strong, and you can see it's up half a percent. So just a, a nice move. Um, oil's up a little bit today. That's that's helping energy. You can see XLE's up a buck. Uh, you know, Exxon Mobil and Chevron, Texaco have been on a tear. Uh, you also have some strength out of your Halliburton's and your Conoco Phillips. This is one that we we've, we've had Conoco Phillips. This is a calendar spread that we threw on in chat that we like uh, a do, double calendar, if you will. And uh, or excuse me, it's a it was a time straddle, a time fly, and that that's that one looks real good right now. So energy is really strong. Uh, materials, utilities after getting thwacked yesterday look a little stronger. Uh, and really just some softness in retail. But uh, I'll tell you, the market looks like it wants to stay higher. Um, I don't know that we're going to get another 20, 30-point day like we did yesterday. But I would be less than shocked if uh, we didn't have another day, a, a, a real threat at 2,800 in the S&P. And if we didn't see a real threat of 25,000 in the Dow again, uh, you know, the real question is, is the NASDAQ going to be able to stay, uh, get to stay green? You know, if that really sees some selling pressure, that could have obviously drive everything lower. All right, folks, you got questions, you can email me marketoptionpit.com or you can call me 888-TRADE-01.